I don't know how Gordon became the man he is, but it was a wonderful confluence of kindness, humbleness, and brilliance. He just wanted to be like Gordon, and he set the standards for how we acted and how we worked and treated people. He made us all better. Just knowing Gordon made you better. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just always scared me how deep his knowledge was on so many subjects. He was in, in that world of, of making things better than they were. <laughs> he was way smarter than me, but he never used that and converted into arrogance. He just, how can I help you, you know? In this shop, I'm reminded of him all the time. When, well, you saw the guys waiting at the door out here and they have those questions. I mean, I had 10 of them follow me down the hall after lecture today. And so, you know, I keep that in mind, you know? That's what he did for me, you know? I'm that same person, you know? So I have to be that person, I think, in my mind. So I don't know that he knows that he had that effect, you know? But when you change somebody's life, you know, I think it's, um, well, it's important that people know that, you know, I think, yeah. He was a great technician. He could do just about everything you can imagine on a machine tool, and he inspired everybody to be friendly. That's really the key. He let everybody let his hair down, and, and uh, that really made a tremendous difference and on all levels, not just the technicians, in the, in the shop people, but the professors and the students and everybody in that part of Orion Lab was really very happy that Gordon was there. Um, he liked to have his close friends. He liked to just sit and visit and keep updated on what they were doing. Um, whatever they were doing was important to, what, to him. Um, he always gave his attention, his focus, when you were talking to him. Um, and he loved it the way mom helped entertain. So he loved the good food that she did and, and that helped the, just the, the, the feeling of the group. Um, it was always good food, good fun, a lot of laughs, um, and uh, staying updated and, and connected. He was a leader instead of a boss. And I've been thinking I can't think in 15 years that he ever told me to do anything that he led just by example with his personality. He could meet anybody, it didn't matter whether it was somebody like Tony or some of the medical research that went on up there, that he could interact with anybody on any level. I took a, a machining class with Ag and Industrial Ed, but it was held over in Ryan Lab, which was, of course where Gordon was running the tech services. And I found that he was an incredible source of information. And I drove him crazy from then on <laughs> because I was just at him, you know, yep, you don't find anybody. I mean, it, it's rare to see people ca cross so many I mean, with, 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 I mean, most things Gordon did were in some way involved with mechanical things. Uh, you know, getting the job done. And I would say that the, the putting in the, the Bridger Bowl uh, chairlift was right up there, yeah. Even one of uh, our old uh, college professors, Dick Millage, used to say, Gordon was probably the most rounded person he ever knew. The thing is, Gordon, he knew a lot about everything. You know, he was, uh, in his own way, he was a good woodworker. You know, he knew metals, he knew the glass, plastics, gosh, he just knew everything. Well, and Gordon was the type that he'd, he'd say, well, I tell you. And 
he wouldn't intimidate you and make you try to look it up in a book or something and he would tell you and it'd be right on. He, he helped me realize pieces that were beyond my capabilities and uh, it was just an enormous help. Uh, I tell people that I went to the University of Gordon. That was my graduate school. And uh, Gordon was always infinitely patient with me. And uh, sometimes the solutions were obvious to him, but not to me. And he had this vast knowledge, but he wasn't arrogant about it. He was just the greatest person to work with I could ever imagine. He was more than a brother to me, you know. He was my teacher and my confidant and just uh, some of the best times of my life were with Gordon and Karen. The other thing that was unique is he had lots of varied interests. Uh, he didn't just have one or two things that he kept throughout his life. It was ever evolving. <laughs> and. It included me in some of those too. So although I didn't like motocross bike racing, when I got older, he took up archery. And so I was able to do that with him. He built a backstop in the yard and we did archery target shooting together. And he went to meets and it was, it was really kind of neat because it showed, again, his preciseness. I didn't realize it at the time, how precise he really is. <laughs> and he was an example for me of how I want people to view me. By looking at what he's done and the way he is and um, you know his variety of interests from, from the technical to the artsy to um, he, you know, the animal kingdom and, and the rest of humanity. You know, his approaches, I really take to heart. Um, he was a person that, you know, if something, if somebody wronged him or was not very nice to him or, you know, and that's happened, it always does in life, um, he moved on. He was a person that didn't dwell on it so much and he set in his mind of how it was going to be and and he moved on and it's a good example for me to look at to um, make sure that I'm not stressing out over what has happened and living in the moment and not living in the future either and that's one thing I appreciate about him is he taught me to live in the moment.